only concern? Washing it off. What if it gets in your butt crack? I thought some of these were gonna be cute. How did these things start? Recently, there have been news articles and various trends on Instagram about fashion. Oh jeez, I know absolutely nothing about fashion. I've worn this t-shirt for like five years. Probably most notable, the recent male rompers that we covered on Teens React. I loved it. Do I get to wear a male romper? Because... Do not. God, man, I saw that episode of Teens React and I was like, I graduated two weeks ago. Why couldn't I have been born slightly younger? So we want to show you seven new viral trends related to fashion and see what you think. Oh! I honestly am only familiar with the whole male romper thing. I don't really know what else is going on in the fashion world, but I'm ready to learn. The first trend we're gonna show you is called Ikea clothes. So now people are buying the bags instead of the actual furniture? The vest? That's like a construction worker. It's so bad. Oh dude, repping sweet and hard, okay. My, my Swedish friend would love this. I don't think I would wear it but I applaud the creativity. It's a good way to prove that you don't have to buy a designer to still be in fashion. That's very innovative. I know some people probably think it's like super shitty, but I think this is the future. I'm kind of a fan, honestly. If it didn't have the Ikea brand at the top, it'd just be like a weird blue duct tape shoe. So this all seemed to start after a high-end designer made a bag that imitated Ikea's famous blue tote. Uh-huh. I just don't understand some of these like fashion designers. They can literally like do anything and people are like, whoa, so chic. We're gonna ask you for all we showed you today. Oh. Do you think this trend should stop or continue? It's, it should stop. It could continue. I'm not the one wearing it, so I'm not the one feeling uncomfortable. Stop on this one. Just because I don't see it going anywhere. This trend should continue. It should never have started. Mm, this one should stop. They should continue because I really appreciate the creativity and I think that the colors are fun. Yeah, where inspiration comes from anywhere that you can get it. And I think if someone enjoys that and it represents what they want to go for, then go for it. So now we've got something called clear jeans. What is happening? I thought some of these were gonna be cute. How did these things start? They're so stupid. <laughs> You're wearing a trash bag. That's not jean material at all. You might as well just put saran wrap all over your legs. What if these are the only clean pants you have and you didn't shave? Everyone's gonna see that you didn't shave. I don't understand the point of those personally, because then you have to buy other pants to wear under it, so you're just paying money for a pair of pants that doesn't do what pants do. That's called being naked. It's kind of in the same vein of like the fishnet, where it's like you're being covered, but people can still kind of see it. Should clear jeans stop or should they continue? Stop it. Stop it completely, just end it. Continue. If people want to wear clear pants, more power to them. I'm gonna go with continue. I think this can go somewhere. This needs to stop. I don't want to be seeing people's legs. I would buy these. Continue. I like it. They should stop. I think it's pushing the limit a little bit. This trend should stop now. I don't even know what I would do if I saw someone in public wearing these. I'd just be like so confused. Like, what are you doing? Here is the next trend. This is like super ripped up clothes, zombie apocalypse clothes. Hasn't this been a trend for like forever? Like this has already been a thing. The ripped jeans and like holes in your shirt and stuff are a look that I like, but it's taken so far to the extreme. I don't know what she's doing. That seems like I just forgot half my outfit. I like this to a point. This lady is a little, a little too, she has a little too much rips going on. I like ripped jeans. Every time I wear my ripped jeans, my dad's like, hey man, you need some money? Go buy some pants without holes in them. I'm like, dad, it's the fashion. So ripped clothing has been around and was really fashionable back in the 90s, but this seems like a whole new level of ripped clothes. Oh yeah, this is very extreme. His shirt looks like an animal chewed it up <laughs> and he's wearing it out. Ripped clothing, stop or continue? Yeah. It's like wearing Swiss cheese. This should stop. Uh, continue. Hey, to each their own, right? It should continue, but maybe to a lesser extent. This type should stop. I love rip clothes. I'm all for it. Continue it up. It can continue if it's not that ripped. They could continue. The only thing I would probably have something wrong with it is it's overpriced. I don't think it should continue. I don't think it should be outlawed. I think it should stop in its tracks and stay there and not progress. So the next fashion trend is called mud jeans. Mud jeans, okay. And they're being sold by Nordstrom. And on Nordstrom's website, they describe the jeans as Americana workwear that's seen some hardworking action with a cracked, caked on, muddy coating that shows you're not afraid to get down and dirty. Oh no. What the f People are really doing the most these days, man. Like, what are you doing? Here they are. No. 
No. What satisfaction do you get out of looking dirty? Why do they do this? I can do this for free in my backyard. I'm not really feeling it. I feel like they're making fun of people who like actually are dirty. I get like jean clothing with like some paint splatter maybe on it to add a little bit of an artsy feel, but the mud is just kind of dirty. I guess it's the same concept as like rips, like, oh, they they must work hard because so they got rips in their jeans. But this does not say that you work hard. This just says that you don't know, like you don't own a washing machine. So mud jeans, stop or continue? Yeah, I'd stop mud jeans. Stop. I don't think I'm behind it enough to give them the go ahead. They should stop. Please stop, for the love of God. Like, go out, go on a hike, mud your own jeans. Kill it, stop it, end it. Stop. I didn't even know what to say, man. I'm disappointed with this. Stop. Immediately. Stop this. My roots come from Vietnam, and I've seen pictures of my parents working in the fields when they were younger, and like they they had these clothes, they had like, you know, dirt all over them, so that's what seeing this reminds me of, like people living in poverty. Now on to corset shirts, which some people are using as an alternative to bras as they have underwire. I don't understand what it is. I kind of feel like it should be under the shirt, hence the whole idea of like what corsets were made for anyway. I don't love the way it looks, I think like the little thing in the center like looks kind of weird, like I'm waiting for it to continue. It looks pretty cool. I kind of like it. So it just goes on the outside. It looks a lot more comfortable than actually wearing a bra. Because bras, they like, they like hug on your skin right here and it's so tight and it makes you feel like you can't like breathe sometimes. But this looks like it kind of just like, it's like it lands nicely like right here and it kind of holds it up for you. Or set shirts, stop or continue. Yeah, I'm into it. Continue. I would continue this trend. Continue, it's not hurting anybody. I think we should continue. Continue, do what you want. I feel like they're gonna continue, so I guess I should just say continue. Continue, I like it, it's cool. Continue, I'm using it, I'm getting one. Out of the next one, this is fake nipples. <laughs> I've seen these! Okay, bring it up, let's see it. Yeah, why? What's wrong with people, man? So they're reverse pasties. Awesome. I hate it, but awesome. So they wear them like, like in their clothes to like show. Wow. I'm all for like free the nipple and don't wear a bra if you don't want to, but like adding fake ones is sort of confusing to me. So the founder of this company actually says that women who have had mastectomies played a large part in her decision to create the product. Okay, that makes sense. That's cool. Now I feel like an asshole. I didn't even know I didn't even know the context. That's so cool. Honestly, I'm I'm all for that. So purely as a fashion statement, should the trend stop or continue? I would say stop because there's no need to do that. Don't do it. If it's just like someone just putting them on just to put them on, like Chill. I'm on the continue side for this. Even if you don't need them, but if it's like fashion one, you feel more comfortable having them, then sure, continue. You do you. Continue, f it. Free the nipple. Some people like the look of it. It's like an edgy, like free the nipple feminism thing, you know? So like, if you're all into that, then I mean, go for it. If you're doing it for like a specific reason, then sure. But if it's just like a fashion statement, it's weird. Now we've got something called glitter booty. What? Is it just glitter you put on your butt? I don't think I'd want to have glitter all over my butt. Why that be so uncomfortable? It's like having sand on you all the time. The one in like the left corner, it's like, okay, like they're getting really creative with it. That's super cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm over here saying what, but the next thing you know, you're gonna see me with glitter booty at Coachella next year. I just came from a music festival. I saw a lot of glittered butts everywhere and I loved it. It's like highlighting one of the best features in the human body. Everyone loves a good booty. Like, men, girls, like, everyone likes booty. Glitter's been really popular in fashion lately with everything from glitter eyebrows to glitter beards. Yep, I like the glitter beard, I think that's funny. Glitter hair parts, I've seen that. So when it comes to glitter booty in particular, stop or continue? I think it should continue. Everyone wants to shine like a star. I'm gonna say let's continue this one. Continue. I hate glitter, but it's actually kind of cute. I'll give them that. I would continue this. I could see it. It's just like asking people to stare at your butt, but I mean, if you're wearing something like that, that's what you're going for anyways. Continue, but only concern, washing it off. What if it gets in your butt crack? It should continue. Why limit glitter? I think glitter is one of those things that has no rules, and when you wear it, you're usually trying to be fun and crazy. Continue glitter booty, 100%. I want to see glitter booty all the way. We need a glitter booty parade. So, in the past, fashion was often largely influenced by things like magazines, movies, television shows, 
but in today's day and age, it seems to be more and more influenced by social media. Yeah, big, big, big time. So do you find yourself looking at social media when it comes to the clothes you wear or your fashion sense? Yeah, I would say I look way more at like Instagram and Pinterest and even like Snapchat sometimes, things like that more than magazines or catalogs. It hasn't influenced my fashion, but I've definitely seen some of these trends and things like this through social media. And it's like, oh, that's cool things that are happening with different kinds of people. I don't let people or like, the outside environment telling me what's fashionable and what's what to wear. It's really very much just what I feel like wearing, and I'm okay with that. If you enjoyed this video, please help the React Shows get nominated for a Streamy Award. The Streamy Awards honor the best in online video, and we need your help. The React Shows include the kids, teens, adults, YouTubers, and elders react. Click the link in the description, or you can go to streamies.org to nominate us by June 9th.